everyone. I'm Sahana Dinesh, a third year computer science student at CEG, and I'm a member of the Gindi Times, the official campus magazine of CEG, AC Tech, and App. I present to you the fourth season of Intern Diaries, a series that provides students in, with insight into the whole internship process. Today, we have Abhirami Mahesh Vijay, a fourth year computer science student at CEG, who was a summer intern at Arcalite Digital this year. Abhirami, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and the company you interned at? Hi, thanks, Sahana. So uh, my name is Abhirami Mahesh Vijay, and like she said, I'm a final year computer science student uh, at CEG. So I'm going into my seventh semester. And the company I interned at this summer was called Acolyte Digital, and they are uh, an IT services and engineering solutions based company. They're based out of the US, but they have multiple locations around India. Okay, that's good to know. Um, so how did you land this um, internship at Acolyte? Uh, so as many of you probably know, our college does conduct on-campus internship drives uh, during your third year. So uh, when I was in my fifth semester, uh, there was an internship drive that happened and I applied to Acolyte through that drive and landed the internship. Okay, so um, what did your study schedule look like about a month before this internship drive? So if I'm being completely honest, I wasn't actually preparing for the internship drive and we, my batch got to know about the internship drive um, very late. So my preparation actually began only after I started sitting for companies. So the first company I sat with zero preparation and pretty much the tests that I took for the companies were like a practice for me. And um, maybe towards the middle of the drive, I started uh, looking through um, like data structures and uh, operating systems and, uh, you know, oops, concepts, just to refresh my memory of them, because they ask those concepts during the internship tests. And only towards the middle did I actually start preparing a little bit on lead code and hacker rank, but a month before the internships, I did not do anything. <laughs> okay, so the uh, internship drive, yeah. Yeah. So uh, did you work on any uh, projects prior to this internship drive? Um, so other than the projects that we do as a part of our coursework, right, if you were a computer science student, you would know in your second year, you do a few mini projects. But apart from that, during like the first few months of COVID, I and my friend, we learned Python on our own. And using Python, we made um, like a COVID uh, cases count dashboard. It's kind of like a web application that gives live updates of the world COVID cases count. Okay. And then we also worked on a sort of a web application um, which was for our college hostel. So it's like to facilitate the leave forms. So these are the two projects that I kind of highlighted on uh, my resume. And these were the projects that I did work on before the internship drive started. Oh, that's very interesting. You, you realize the lockdown well. Um, so, <laughs> right. what, so um, what did um, Acolyte's uh, selection process look like? Um, so how it went was as every other company, they start off with uh, a PPT, they tell us about the company and then the next step is an online test. Um, and Acolyte, unlike the other companies, they didn't have any um, quantitative or like subject based aptitude at first. It was just directly three coding questions. It was just one coding round. And after we went through that, so once you get you clear that round, you go on to a technical interview. Um, so there was, it was a live um, programming problem solving sort of a thing. So there was an interviewer sitting at the other end and he gave me three programming questions, which I had to program and solve in front of him. And you just have to like talk through your thought process. You don't necessarily have to arrive at the solution, just talk to them through the process and eventually you end up solving the problem and they help you a lot. And the third round is another technical interview uh, from another senior person. And uh, that was, I was asked a probability question, which again, I just talked him through my uh, methodology of solving it. And finally, both of us together, we arrived at the solution. Ooh. And he also asked me um, about my projects that I had listed on my resume and a few subject related questions like from OS, from operating systems and from object oriented programming and data structures. Okay. So this is how the, yeah, this is how the selection process went. There wasn't an actual HR round Oh. But these were the rounds and it was over a span of five days. Oh, okay. That's cool. So I'm sure that like hundreds of people would have applied to um, Acolyte. How did you make your resume stand out? 
So as I mentioned earlier, the projects that you do are pretty much key to any company selecting you, I feel, because my projects were more web application and application oriented. And I think that's what Acolyte was looking for. And hence my experience with the web application development over the year probably, you know, benefited me and made them think I was, you know, a good fit for their company. So I personally think that's what made my resume stand out. It was the projects and yeah. So um, what was your role at Acolyte? What domain? Uh, so, um, so Acolyte, actually, they did a very nice thing and they let the interns um, specify what they're interested in. Oh. Uh, so I personally um, am more interested in front end development and design. So I chose, I said I would like to design and develop the front end. So my role was a UI developer, designer and developer. So essentially what I did was uh, I worked on their an internal project, which was their website. So I got to design a few slide, uh, a few pages of their website um, using a tool called Figma, which was new to me. So I got to use that. I designed a few web pages and I also like eventually ended up developing those, the front end for those pages. Uh, also, occasionally I helped the back end, the people who are working on the back end. Uh, integrated with the front end. So this was pretty much, you know, my role at Acolyte. Oh, okay. That's interesting. So um, how long um, was your internship and what did your day to day look like? So my internship lasted for two months exactly. It started on the 17th of May and it ended on the 16th of July. And uh, because it was an online remote internship, uh, I could wake up whenever I wanted. I started. So the whole internship happened um, uh, via Skype. So like we communicated via Skype. My mentor would contact me and text me on Skype. So I could just log in and whenever he was free or I would free around 10 o'clock, I'd say we would start. He would give me a few tasks for the day and I would work till maybe one o'clock in the afternoon. And then my like after lunch, I was pretty much free. I could work on college work. And then again, in the evening, I would work on a little bit more of the internship work. It was very flexible because it was remote and I just had to get what was done before the deadline. So it didn't matter how many hours I was working a day. I just had to finish before the deadline. It was a good experience. Yeah, <laughs> it, it was. Yeah, flexible work environment. That's nice to hear. Um, so um, how has your internship benefited you on the whole? Do you think you picked up any um, new skills on the way? So like I said, I used the software called uh, Figma uh, to design um, the web pages. And I did not know Figma before. Neither did I know how to use any other designing software before this internship. So I am, I will confidently say, you know, I'm good at Figma now. So that is one skill I picked up. And Figma, like I can use it for pretty much anything. It doesn't just have to be web page development. And also I learned a few things that I did not know prior to the internship about integrating the front end and back end. So that was also something new to me. Okay. And just in general, like the work environment was something, you know, was something I picked up, yeah. Okay, so now that you have this experience, what do you intend on doing like after you graduate or what are your next steps Mm -hmm. after so um i personally am actually going to pursue my masters right after my undergraduate degree so that is what i am working towards right now uh, i'm interested in you know creative technologies like ar vr game development related technologies and also machine learning and ai so those are the fields yeah. i'm looking into and that is what i'll be doing right after my undergraduate okay um so do you have like any advice to give for other people applying to internships right now? Um, so from my experience, I would say if you want to land an on-campus internship, uh, definitely start practicing coding questions earlier, unlike me. Maybe start, uh, there are so many resources on the internet. You have Lead Code, HackerRank, Geeks for Geeks. You can practice maybe even two or three questions a day should be sufficient. It's just to keep in touch with coding. And of course, uh, look through concepts and just uh, try to remember, uh, I mean, no, recap concepts that you have learned throughout your second year. 
because those are very important to any company that you interview at and this practice even if you're not trying to get an on campus internship at the moment this practice will definitely benefit you when you do sit for placements because you would have to do the same for placements as well so that's what i would give as advice and also on your resume try to highlight the important things try not to make it too clumsy and put only what you are very confident about on your resume it doesn't really matter about um quantity it's more of like the quality that you put on there so even if your projects are not that complex don't feel too bad just make sure you know everything about the projects you have worked on and make sure you'll be able to answer anything the interviewer asks you about the projects okay so this is the gist of what i feel yeah Yeah, that's great advice. Thank you so much. Um, that's all from my side, and I wish you um all the best from for all of your uh, future endeavors. Thank you so much for thank uh, you so sharing much. your experience with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really hope this helps anyone in any way possible. That'd be great. <laughs> yeah, it will definitely. Thank you.